doing um happy festive season hope you guys are enjoying your christmas holidays just like i am enjoying nothing really serious just spending time with a family i don't know if you guys watch my previous video when i said that i need to go spend christmas with my mom and also new year with trudy's dad for me i think i need to go see my mom every christmas that's what I always do, but this time around, I think I'll go see my mom for a few days and fly to Kenya to also go see my father-in-law. It is what it is, man. I, I'm now a married man, so the way you used to do things needs to change, right? So, a few days with my mom, a few days with Trudy's dad, and yeah. I'm a man of my words, and no matter what happens, I really need to make it happen. So guess what happened? I'll be traveling to Europe in January for a meeting, so I had to submit my passport once again why do i feel like i need an extra passport you guys should let me know how do i get another passport because having one passport inconvenience me a lot and i don't know how to get an extra passport i'm thinking about getting a kenyan passport or maybe getting another african country passport just let me know what you guys think man um, even if i have to get an extra passport or a second passport which country do you think i need to get a passport from so yeah i submitted my passport and I got the visa yesterday. So I got a visa yesterday, which means that I couldn't be able, I couldn't be able to travel with Trudy yesterday because Trudy left the country yesterday. We were supposed to go together, but because of my passport, I had to stay behind. So I got my passport yesterday. Hi. I'm fancy Oh, we're fancy. Hey, why didn't I? <laughs> so I got my passport yesterday and I felt like, you know what, I need to surprise Trudy because according to the conversation that we had, she knows that I cannot make it. So I just told her that, you know what, just go and see your dad. And then yeah, in future when time permits and everything is right, I will fly in and we'll go together someday. But then when I got my passport, I felt like, okay, I have three days remaining. Why not just go to Kenya for three days, go and see Trudy's dad, spend time with the family. I mean, this is what marriage does to you, right? I feel like being a family man, you need to respect both your family and your wife's family. So basically this is what I'm doing at the moment. What are you saying to them? I need to tell them something. What are you saying? I, I, I'm just telling them that I'm on my way to Kenya to surprise my wife and the family. You're always surprising your wife and family. <laughs> it's like you know that, eh? Yeah. I wish you were a surprise. <laughs> I hope it will be a pleasant one. Thank you. All, All right. the best, man. Which flight are you on? It's Open Airlines. We are on the same airport. All right, I'll see you then. Jeez. It's like the whole airport. I'm a YouTube audience, man. It's super crazy. But I, before I continue this video, I want to say a big shout out to Ghana Immigration for the love and support they always show me anytime I check it. You know, like you cannot record videos whilst they are wearing their uniform. So that's one of the reasons why you've never seen them on camera. But almost every one of them. But almost every one of them gives me maximum respect and I feel like respect is reciprocal. I always show them respect but I feel like I should show them appreciation on this YouTube channel. So if you're an immigration officer, if you see this video, this video is dedicated to you all. Thank you. Come along, let's go to Kenya together. <laughs> I can't believe that I finally landed in Nairobi, Kenya. And listen, I got the best warm walk up ever. 
I mean, the first time that I came to Kenya, you know, you guys know my story with Kenya, but this time around, when I landed, the immigration officer was like, what am I? Our online in-law, welcome home. And that was the most beautiful thing that I've ever had in a very long time. I just want to tell every Kenyan out there, yeah, we're West Africans, but um, don't judge us because of our passport. We, we're just like you, man. I mean, for the first time coming to Kenya, getting a warm welcome, nobody's profiling me because I have a West African passport. It seems like all of them know me right now. So yeah, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I guess I, guess I proved them wrong, yeah? I, I proved them wrong that, hey, I'm West African, but I'm a good guy. <laughs> so yeah, um, I gotta stick to the plan. I'm not the one who is gonna, I gotta stick to the plan. My wife is not picking me up, but guess what? I have a surprise for you guys again. A friend of mine is picking me up. And when I get out, you guys will see that friend once again. And we actually met for the first time in Kenya, but he's not even Kenyan. So yeah, can you guess before we meet him? All right, let's go. Where is this guy? Unless I call him, man. He said he's at Absa. This is Absa it's here. I can hear my name somewhere. Look at this guy, man. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh shit, Dick Jackson. Oh wow. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very fine. No, let me give you a hug. Good to see you. Good to see you too. For the gram, eh? For the, for, the, for, the gram, for the gram, for the gram, for the gram. I never knew O'Shea is on Instagram. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> Where's your wife? Where's your wife? Uh, she's around. Good morning. How are you all doing? Um, it's the last day in 2022. What are you grateful for? Um, just let me know in the comment section. And what is your biggest regret in 2022? For me, I think 2022 was more challenging, but um, the fact that we overcome all the challenges, that's amazing, right? I mean, to have the gift of life, it's even something to celebrate. So I just wanna ask you, what are you grateful for? I feel like I can never get lost in Nairobi because I've been coming here too much to the extent that I can do so many things without my wife, man. It's like, um, I came, landed, got a place to stay for a night. Now I'm going to see her. It's like, I don't, I don't feel like a foreigner in this country. Uh, even though I don't speak Swahili, but I know like at least one or two Swahili words. James, habari yako? Safi kabisa. You love Swahili, you're learning Swahili. No, I'm learning I'm Swahili. Kidogo, you're... kidogo Swahili. I'm impressed the way you're capturing the Swahili words, the most important words. Yeah, the very, most important words. Very, very quickly, you know? But I'm trying my possible best to learn Swahili this year. Um, so, to all my in-laws, I'm back home. Let's um, stick to the plan. I don't know how Trudy is going to react because she has no idea I'm in the country. Um, the dad has no idea I'm in the country. I called them just now and they told me that oh, they're in the house and they're going to be crossing over uh, in the dad's house. So, if I don't go early, I'm not gonna make it, so that's why I had to wake up and then just rush to where she lives, man. So, Nairobi is looking super green and clean. Look at Nairobi, man. Blue skies. Incredible, man. What, what's this place called? Kileleshwa. Kileleshwa. Yeah. This is where the rich people live. <laughs> yes, we have rich people. Ah. But not really. Wow. It looks so clean. Oh. I think they've invested so much in apartment in this area. Because it's all apartment that I'm seeing. So I've never been to this part of Kenya. Maybe I have been, but I'm not sure. So yeah, let's go. I am here, but I'm confused about the door. The door, this one, or oh, that one.
Hi, am I the wrong place? Uh, yeah. Can you do trouble vlogs? I do travel vlogs. How and you are in Zimbabwe and people give you a hard time. Are you from Zimbabwe? Oh, you You're from Zimbabwe? Yeah, I am. Wow. And you went to that veggie dance bar. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, my wife lives here, but I'm, I don't know, I think I, I got a, this first of all, who lives here? <laughs> oh my God. Which one is the Baba again? Uh, Harari. Yeah. So I think, I mean, it's gonna be this one. This is. Uh, is that you? Is that you? It should be this one. This one, right? Yeah, because I know it's something yesterday. I should change my name, but I think it's this one or this one. Let me try. <laughs> I got it all wrong, man. Right? Yeah, I love pulling surprises. You to each other. Yeah. Including me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had no idea I was coming, yeah? No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Karibu. Asante. You know, I, know, you know. I think she's sleeping, so I don't want you to know, take you. You know, you know, we are yeah. saying, uh -huh. this get to apartments. Uh -huh. And now that she's married, by extension, it is your house. Yeah. Yeah, so when you come. And okay. thank you so much for allowing me oh to rest my head here. <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? Now, nah, surprises, you know. <laughs> eh? it, it, it is his house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Karibu sana. Get wow. huh? Now we can prepare for for who? Maya. <laughs> A cup of tea? Wow, oh my god. Mm, even me now, let me just say my last prayer before I wake up. Oh, oh. Wow. My, uh, How mm. are you here? When did you do when did you get your passport? I'm here. That's the most important thing. Alright. Yeah. I'm sick there. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm here. Babe. Oh. Actually knocked the wrong door. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Are you serious? What do you mean by that am I serious? Ah. I'm here now. I'm here. Well, how did you come? Why did I come? I was supposed to come, right? No, you're not coming. You didn't have a passport. Yeah, but I got my passport at the end of the day. And I still have to make it. Hey, Karibu. Why are you crying? Why are you crying, dude? Here. I didn't you come, you know. I didn't think you wanted to come. 
Right. I promised you though. I'm gonna spend Christmas with my mom and Mia with your dad. And you thought it's my fault. It was not my fault, it's still a passport. Hmm. <laughs> it's like I'm dreaming, I can't believe it. <laughs> She's crying. Hey, why are you crying? I'm so happy to see you. I didn't think you wanted to come. You know, I don't want to see your dad or something. I told you it's my passport. It's not my fault. Actually, <sighs> yeah. Anyway. It's okay. Thank you for coming. <laughs> you didn't tell me. What was it last night? Where did you sleep? Hmm? Where did Kenya, you sleep? Kenya is my home now. I have so many places to stay. So, uh, anyway, I guess we need to spend the last day of the year together. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that song, the song your dad is playing. <laughs> Actually, faith. <laughs> if it whatever is happening, I look into my eyes. Oh. Wow. Anyway. Just. What is. A grief. Are you grateful for internet health too? Mm -hmm. Are you grateful for him to the gender too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My dad. My brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Happy New Year in advance if you're watching this video on 1st of January. I wish you all the best in 2023. Don't forget to put God first in everything that you do. And um, yeah, always go for your hard desires, work hard, and you definitely achieve whatever you want to achieve. I love you all. Thank you so much for the love that you guys have shown me all these past years, especially in 2022. The struggles has been real, but we made it. You and I. I want to tell my fellow brothers and sisters from West Africa, it's time to do the right thing. I mean, frauding is affecting all of us. I mean, even though you're doing this for personal gain, but don't forget that those of us from the same region are paying for your actions. See, I've been to so many countries that I've been detained, arrested, deported because I carried a green passport. I cannot access PayPal because I'm from West Africa. This is how it is, man. So know that it's time for you to do the right thing. Whatever you're doing, we are paying for it. Like I have to spend more money to get a ticket just because frauding is rampant in this region. So you know what's happening right now? I just had an emergency trip to go to Kenya today. I've been trying to book a ticket since last night and it's not working. And it's not like it's not working. You can book the ticket all right, but you cannot pay for it. You know why? I've been calling the airline for the past, I mean, since yesterday, they are telling me that you cannot pay card unless you come to the office because I think um, frauding in West Africa is getting out of hand. So because of frauding, they have to inconvenience everyone. I think the airline can do better with this one because like, I just rushed to the airport. Now I came here, they're saying that all my two bookings are canceled. So apparently I need to spend more money to buy a ticket, which is not supposed to be sold. So now I'm supposed to pay a charge of $100 added to the uh, amount that I was supposed to pay previously. I don't think this is supposed to happen by the way, but anyway, but I it think is. something needs to be done in terms of, um, I mean, if frauding is happening, you need to find a way um, to solve it, but not to inconvenience everyone. Just like this. This is not cool, man. Uh, I mean, when you travel to different African countries, you get profiled just because you're coming from West Africa. It's time for us to change our ways. It's time for us to do the right thing. 
you know we can't be judged just because of one man's action enough is enough <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. Uh, I'm gonna check you out. <laughs> he, 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 they caught the bus for 17 hours. 17 hours from Uganda you know, to give you something. Give me something. Yeah. Hey. By the way, hi, Trudy. Uh, <laughs> I watched all you guys' videos. Okay, <laughs> most of you guys' videos. Wow. Yeah. So let's. let's, let's, let's Just like that? Or? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's okay. okay, so. I know, oh, let me give my speech now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know you already crossed a million subscribers on YouTube. Right, yeah. and I watched that video and it was so touching. But like, this is Christian. I work with him. We were thinking that like, you know, YouTube does like play buttons for um, when you cross 50 million, 100 million, they make yeah. custom ones. Yeah, yeah. Right, and like, crossing 1 million subscribers in Africa on YouTube is way harder than it looks. Yeah, it's not really like everywhere else. Yeah. you cross like 100 million when you cross 1 million. Yeah. Yeah. it's insane. So like, I thought to myself, we need to make him a custom award. Right? Whoa. <laughs> right? But um you live in Ghana and like we can't afford to come there to Ghana. So um I was talking to a and he told me that you might be here yeah. um two days ago. Yeah. So him and I were like, fuck. So we had three days, we we're like, okay, we're gonna try and make something for him. Whatever comes out of it, we're gonna make sure we get on a bus and deliver it to him. Wow. I think now you sound so familiar. I've watched a video of yours. Yes. I don't know. No, I've watched a video. You, you have a YouTube channel? Yes. Good. You, you did a video about like, Af is it Africa? Like you trying to be with Mr. Beast in Africa or something? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. That's the guy. Oh, yeah. Ah, you see? Yeah. yeah. No, nah, that's the guy. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the guy. I'm dead, bro. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just like, I've heard this voice before, but I don't know where. So I need to just. This, it, it was like last year, December, or something like that. Yeah. Like yeah, oh, you, it was the other December. December. Yeah. Uh -huh. We texted. 2020. Yeah. yeah. I, I commented on the video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, yeah, I was like, bruh, your videos are so sick. Good to see you. Okay, so real quickly, I don't want to take you guys' time like that. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh my God. You may close your eyes now. Oh my God. I didn't just start saying wow so from you. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you may open your eyes. Whoa! That's my logo! That's my logo! Wow. Okay, there you go! Whoa. Oh my goodness! Okay. Goodness! Uh, yes, we're gonna. Yeah. So as you know, I was in cahoots, bro, you know, uh, <laughs> with all the players. Thank you so much, bro. So I didn't tell anybody, I didn't even tell Sharon. So, um, I didn't tell anybody. What do you think? Listen, they just brought a lot of memories. Um, this logo, when I had a dream of coming back to Africa, yeah, I woke up and I started like describing this logo, but I didn't know how this logo was going to come out. So all I did was I explained the dream to Nappy Bricks. You know Nappy? No. What's up everybody? It's your boy NAPPI. Nappy is a very good friend of mine. I explained the dream on phone. So as I'm explaining the dream, the guy came up with this. So, uh, I've watched all the interviews. I've never heard you say that. Nah, never, never heard. Never, never heard. Never. Never heard. This is like that's why. Like when I saw it, like I mean, I don't know. I just got emotional. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so. Thank you, guys. This is amazing. Thank you. I'm so sorry, bro. And it looks kind of like no, it's no, everywhere. Like this is the best thing that has ever happened to me in 2022, man. Aww. For real. Man. Thank you so much, bro. Wow. 
So, sorry for the ambush, brother, but you know. <laughs> sorry for the ambush again. Yeah, okay, wow. I just have one more thing for you guys. All right. Oh so we made this um, on the 28th, and you were supposed to be on the 29th, I think. Mm -hmm. And it broke as we were literally coming here. So on the day that we we're coming here, we felt so bad giving you this. I so no. Uh -huh. We made something else. Ah, I sure oh noticed. <laughs> we can't come all the way here and give you that. No, it this, broke. For me, this is enough, man. Wow. wow. You're so no, this, to earth, this is so beautiful. Thank you. Like, the reason why this means a lot to me is like, this is Maya. This is what brought me to Africa. You know, I've always wanted to tell you something. Um, also, another reason I made this award on him is we're from Uganda and you have a few videos where you've not been treated I'm coming well back. in Uganda. I'm coming back because of this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, thank you. That shit, it broke our hearts to see like how you were treated when you're in okay. Uganda. So from everyone, we're so sorry. And having said that, this is what we made right before we came to replace that, right? Um, it's your choice what you do with this as well, but it is the same, just a bit cleaner. So that one's clear, no touches, no nothing. Um, congratulations for 1 million subscribers. And um, I also said from the people of Africa, to what am I behind there? So this is the one that we really wanted to give you. That one we just wanted to see a reaction. <laughs> <laughs>